हाई फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कार्बोनेट बाई कार्बोनेट एंड नाइट्रेट आय कैन यू सी दिस पिक्चर दिस पिक्चर इज एन आयनिक कंपाउंड सो ए इज योर कैटाइन एंड बी इज योर एन आइन एंड दीज टू आय आर एट्रेक्टेड बाय द इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स ऑफ एट्रैक्शन सो बोथ ऑफ देम हैव नॉर्मल वेलेंसेस and the number of electrons in this uh, b is more and a is more almost size is you can say it is not fully uh, equal it is unequal but it is comparable let us take example of sodium plus and f minus so both have almost 10 to 10 electrons so size is comparable now if you compare in this picture this is a plus and b minus but the size of the b is uh, more bigger than that of a plus so this we can say it is totally unequal and what happens uh, since the b minus it is anion having the large number of electrons present in the in its valence cells so this having the this a plus having the more positive nuclear charge so this will distort this uh, valence electrons towards itself so we can say the shape of the valence cell is distorted why distorted we know this is called as polarized anion so whenever any valence electrons of larger anions are attracted by a small cation so the shape of the valence electron is deformed and electron cloud of valence cells of anion becomes unsymmetrical so you can see the picture of unsymmetrical anion and this phenomena is called as you know it is very familiar uh, this is a term is that is called polarization of anion by cation there are two more term associated with this polarization of anion by cation so these terms are actually polarizing power and polarizability what is polarizing power so polarizing power is nothing but it is an ability of cation to polarize anion it is ability of cation to polarize anion and what is polarizability it is a tendency of anion to get polarized so already we have seen in this pictures so you can see this is the polarizability polarizability of the anion so this has been distorted while the cation is not that much distorted so this is the polarizing power when the size of the anion cation is more smaller so polarizing power is more high and if the size of the anion is more bigger so polarizability is very it is also high so both it will be attracted towards this one towards the cation so due to polarization of anion what happens important phenomena happen that is ionic bond it will acquire some partial covalent characters so whenever there is a greater extent of polarization if the extent of polarization is very very high so what happens the covalent character in ionic bond becomes also very high so more polarization more covalent characters and ionic character also it decreases means these are inversely proportional to each other simultaneously thermal stability of the compound is also decreases so if the compound is more polarized or more covalent thermal stability is more less let us prove the use this concept in terms of carbonates so this is the case number one i am taking so in group 1 most of the elements are alkali metals if you go down the group of these carbonates so what happens the cgm carbonates having the high ionic characters definitely polarize the polarizing uh, polarization power of this compound by the cgm towards the car carbonate is less so this is more stable while in case of lithium carbonate polarizing power of the lithium towards the carbonate is very very low so what will happen so polarizing power here is very high why because of this ionic characters uh, is high and so polarizing power is low so ionic character is very high in this case polarizing power is very high so ionic characters becomes very low and it can uh, decompose very easily when you supply heat so you can see the it order of stability so low polarizing power so thermal stability of cgm carbonate is more higher than that of lithium carbonate so this is such a low polarizing power uh, high polarizing power so what will happen uh, so low polarizing power so what happen thermal stability of lithium carbonate is very very less and it by he small heating it will easily decompose so you can see this reaction it will decompose to give you lithium oxide plus carbon dioxide and this is very stable it will not decompose easily it means it cannot give carbon dioxide so easily as compared to the other preceding carbonates 
Similarly, in group two, we can see uh, the same phenomena which take place. The thermal stability of the carbonates for group two element is also uh, increases down the group. So, barium carbonate is less stable while the barium carbonate is more stable. It is more ionic character. It is less ionic characters means more covalent characters. Then, if you heat it, what will happen? You will get this will easily uh, convert to carbon dioxide. It is very difficult to convert to barium carbonate. It is very difficult to convert to carbon dioxide. So we can see this is a general reaction. So any uh, group two uh, metallic carbonate, when you heating, you will get metallic oxide plus carbon dioxide. Let us see some other cases. So there are three element: uh, magnesium. Uh, this is your silver and mercury. You can see at the in the last second digit is G G G. So there are three elements which have G in them. So we can uh, understand what is the meaning of G. G means get back to itself. What does this mean? This means that uh, when you take silver carbonate, when you heat it, so you will get silver back. This is back. This is black in color. First you will get silver hydroxide. So again it will decompose to give silver oxide, silver plus oxygen plus CO2. You will get three uh, product and silver as a You won't get silver oxide. So when they this the three G, so these two product will convert into uh, its the own element from carbonate. But magnesium will not. Magnesium is the exception. Magnesium cannot come back to magnesium. Magnesium carbonate, one heating, it will not come back to magnesium. It will form magnesium oxide. While silver and mercury, it will form the your element. You can see from this reaction. This is the mercury carbonate on heating. You will get the mercury and plus your next is your half oxygen. So I just missed out. And uh, second is the carbon dioxide. Next example is our zinc carbonate. So zinc carbonate on heating, you will get zinc oxide plus carbon dioxide. And zinc has a very uh, different color phenomena when they are cold and hot conditions. When zinc oxide is hot, it is your yellow in color. And when zinc oxide is cold, it will give you white in color. So white is giving yellow in color. So the reason is due to the crystal defect that is called Frankel defect. I, heard, I think you have to study in a solid state that is... Uh, uh, crystal defect in solid state. So what happens uh, in this? Uh, if you heat the zinc carbonate, so what happens? The anionic vacancies uh, present in the zinc carbonate it will are created. So anion is created in the zinc carbonate, and electrons will occupy that anion vacancies, and it will impart the color uh, yellow color. So electron is giving is on big on electron is uh, since present in the anion vacancies, and they will absorb the heat, and it will gives the yellow color. That is called F center or metal axis defect. So zinc oxide on heating, it is giving zinc plus oxide like this reaction is there. Now let's take some more examples. Uh, case three uh, on basis of carbonates. This is your Cu carbonate and CuOH hold twice. This is called as this is called as basic copper carbonate, and or you can say malachite in terms of ore. So when you heat this uh, CuCO3 and uh, basic copper carbonate on heating, you will get CuO, CO2, and H2O. So what is the basic mechanism? Actually, CuCO3 it will convert into CuO and CO2, and the Cu and this is the uh, copper to hydroxide. It will convert into CuO, CH2O. So taking the Cu as a common, uh, CO2 and H2O is the other product respectively. Next we have lead carbonate, lead hydroxide. So this is actually in terms of ore, this is a white lead or we can say basic lead carbonate. Again, if you uh, oxidize, it will give you uh, combustion reactions in high temperature, 350 degrees centigrade. So it will convert into a uh, PV3O4, which is actually a red lead and plus CO2 plus H2O. So again, if you give more heat, if you supply more heat, so this will again decompose into lead oxide plus oxygen. The color of the lead oxide is a light yellow and it is solid. And this is uh, a mixed oxide, uh, which is actually the combination of two oxide, lead oxide plus lead. Uh, this is dioxide, which is two is to one form. This is two, this is one. So you have to learn these things. Another example is we have ammonium carbonate. So on heating, it will give you ammonia plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now let us study the thermal stability of bicarbonates. So bicarbonate, if you see the general reactions of bicarbonate ions on heating, so you will get carbonate, water and carbon dioxide. This is a general reaction. So for group 1 element, M is the your alkali metals on heating, you will get your M2CO3. Now this is your uh, not M2 means if you are taking the, just take this one. So it becomes MCO3, uh, CO2 plus water. So since this is a group 1 element, so these are the group 1 element examples, lithium bicarbonate, 
sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, and rubidium, and cesium. Out of this, again, thermal acidity will increase down the group. Even for the bicarbonate, so this is more ionic and this is more stable. While the same bicarbonate is again less st stable, it will immediately decompose. This is very difficult to decompose. Normally, these are in solid. Similarly, for group two element, if you see barium to barium bicarbonate, so what happens? So all are almost liquid and uh, they have the higher degree of polarization. So this is somewhat very difficult to decompose as compared to the this one group one element. Now we will see the next case of like metal nitrate. So how the thermal stability will affect the metal nitrate. Uh, normally the bivalent nitrate it will easily decompose on heating. Bivalent means which have uh, positive and uh, two positive charges. Like metal nitrate it is M is the bivalent like maybe same case on decomposing on giving heat it will convert into metallic oxide uh, plus the nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. This is the brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. Alkali metals are very difficult to decompose. Alkali metals, sodium, lee, sodium, uh, potassium are very difficult to decompose. So on decomposition, they will give the product metal nitrate plus oxygen. And again, if you give more heat to this metal nitrate, so it will convert into M2O plus nitrogen plus 3 by 2 oxygen. So this is the product. But in this case, in case of uh, alkali metals of group 1, lithium nitrate is an exception. This will decompose fastly as compared to the other metals of the same group. Sodium nitrate, if you heat by seeing these examples, first it will form the sodium nitrate and oxygen. If you give more heat, then it will give you sodium oxide plus nitrogen plus oxygen. Similarly, lithium nitrate, if you heat, you will get lithium oxide, nitrogen oxide and oxygen. Now, question is, uh, one question is very important, uh, remarkable. This, why the metallic nitrate do not give uh, nitric oxide, NO2 or nitrous oxide? So, this is very important. Why they are not giving, why they are giving nitrogen? So, let us find the reason, what is the reason behind of these things? So, this is your nitrate ion, NO2 minus. So, what will happen here? So this will give you NX plus oxygen. So if you see, if you check their oxygen state, this uh, nitrite is actually plus 3 state. Check it, it's a plus 3 state and this oxygen minus 2. It will give you NX product and O2. So this we don't know what is the oxygen state. So this will know so that we can verify. Uh, so oxygen state of uh, this oxygen in nitrate is minus 2 while oxygen is 0. So it is again decreasing minus 2 to 0. So in this case, if uh, oxygen is decreasing, so nitrogen must increase. Nitrogen cannot decrease, it must increase oxygen state. Okay, because uh, nitrogen, oxygen increasing, so nitrogen must, your, it, it will accept electrons. So we have three elements, one is NO2, one is NO2. Let us check NO2. So NO2, oxygen state of and nitrogen, how much? So if you see here, this oxygen state is plus 4. Since oxygen, uh, oxygen state of oxygen is decreasing, so nitrogen must increase. So it is oxygen is uh, decreasing, so N should be it should be less than plus three. So NO2 is not possible because oxygen state of nitrogen plus four. It should be less than three, not more than three. So NO2 possibility is not possible. Now check for nitric oxide. So in this case, this is minus two and plus two. Now question is, this is also not formed. Why? Because uh, if uh, in from one oxygen, the, the decrease of oxygen unit is uh, two. The uh, decrease of oxygen is 2 because minus 2 to plus 2 is there. So it is decreasing. So this N plus must increase by 2 unit. So if oxygen is losing 2 unit, so nitrogen should gain by 2 unit. 2 units. So it should not plus 2. It should have plus 3 to plus 1. So there is only one possibility is N2O that is in plus 1 state. But interesting thing is that this nitrate oxide is not formed. Instead of this, we always get nitrogen. Not this one. This is also ruled out. So that's why metal nitrate, they do not give nitric oxide, NO2, N2O, they will give you nitrogen.